This is China FC, but none of our players are Chinese. We're going to make them all Chinese through the Youth Academy only and see if we can win a World Cup with China. So this is our only youth scout. We're going to fire him immediately and get some five-star scouts. And we have none. And just like that, we have three five-star scouts ready to go. We can actually put them all in China because of nefarious means. My aim is to just, from the first scouting mission, get as many good players as possible. All three of our scouts are all in China. We're going to hopefully use them to win a World Cup with China. The worst team on FIFA. And we also get hired by China. The beginning of the simulation. This is what the national team looks like at the moment. It's actually not horrible. I hate to say that. But they're all around 70 overall. So it will take us a little bit to break into this team. But hopefully eventually it'll be just full of our players we're at the first of the month already let's have a look at the three scout reports and see if we can get anyone good no he looks terrible all terrible terrible oh this is a real minefield for me to get cancelled 68 to 92 looks decent though he is 15 so we may as well i suppose oh 77 to 94 Quan yang oh my god this guy looks like a monster sign oh yeah we have all these loan offers and stuff what i'm going to do is get rid of all these club players as quickly as possible so the highest rate player we've got is 60 oh my god he's moroccan 82 to 94. I have to let him go. This Kwan Yang guy, I could just promote and start straight away. We already have our first player, Yan, straight into the team. So I'm going to waste no time and release all of the players that we don't need. All of the dead wood. Actually, the best players possible. Squad size too small to release. Okay, there we go. So already after the first scout report, we have our first player into the team. He looks rapid as well. Oh my goodness. Here we go. The first ever squad submission and obviously none of our players are in it. We'll count them up until every single one of these players are one of our own. See, the problem is 49 overall is just really low rated so he'd probably never get into the team even if he wanted to just because as he gets better everyone else is also just going to keep getting better this guy's already 18 that's nuts so now we have another center mid a left back and a right back so there goes lou Zhu and Han. And we can get rid of our other higher rated players. Problem is, he's a left wing back. I don't care. Center back, 86 weeks. Oh, tears. The three highest rated players on our team already are all Chinese, but our squad is completely terrible. We're going to get absolutely smoked this year, but I actually do not care. Let's go and play against Qatar. This should give us a good idea of where we're at in the standings. Between China and Qatar, it's a two-all draw. Okay. And here we go. We have to play against the world champions, Argentina. And we're going to get smoked. Yeah, okay. 3-1. And we have a league game on the same day. Oh my god. Okay, Stevenage. Come on, boys. China FC versus Stevenage. Oh, we drew Tomlinson with a brace. I don't know who he is and he's going to get released very quickly. My aim for this season is to get as many Chinese players into the team as possible, get as many games under their wing as possible and see if maybe we can possibly get one to break into this national team. We're already pretty close to be honest, I think. Oh wow, this guy looks really good. We'll take him. Bing Wen Gao. Okay, we'll take him. We already got a transfer offer for Lee. 500k. Wow. That's not bad. 57 overall straight away. We're going to put him on a development plan and then we're going to promote him. All right, we got two more players. Players. Gao is going to go up front. Kang is just going to go straight into centre back. He looks like our captain, to be completely honest. Although he might be a little bit too fancy. He's got medium low work rates for a centre back. That makes no sense. He's also only six foot tall. But we're almost a full Chinese team. We can just promote Zhang, and then now we have a full team of Chinese players. And we can release three more players. That's good. Actually, ideally, yeah, 4 4 2 is fine. We would just play 4 4 2. I don't know. Uh, what formation do they use in the national team? They use a 5 2. Th we're not using a 5 2 3. <laughs> Let's use a 442 on this as well. Has anyone got good potential? Doesn't look like anyone's got good potential, but that's okay. Don't worry about it for the moment. Dynamic potential and all that will kick in. Okay, we've had a terrible month. We didn't win a single game. This is kind of what it is. We're just coming for diamonds in the rough, and we've got to do that for a full team and bench. What FIFA consider the weaker nations tend to have worse players on average, so it's harder to find world class talent. I'm starting off in League Two as well with the club team, and I'm trying to get the whole way up to win the Champions League. So we're going to try and win the Champions League and the World Cup with just Chinese players. The worst nation in FIFA. We're going to see if it's possible. I actually don't know if it's possible. I'm going to promote them all and then just clear out the bench of players that we don't need. And then we can slow down and be really picky with who we keep and who we get rid of. And I think that's near enough it. I can't get rid of this guy because he's retiring at the end of the year. Are you serious? But other than him, the entire team is now Chinese. We do have a CDM in Nets, but other than that, you know, we're, we're looking good. If I've got to play with a CDM in Nets for a month, then I do. Okay, that's just the way it is. I don't worry about it. He'll be good. He'll be good. But winning against Argentina? Nope. We're winning against Qatar. We won! China win a game against Qatar, granted, but we won a game. Oh my god, we beat Bradford. Yeah, he's been playing as well with a CDM and Nets. We beat Bradford. Let's go. And there we go. There's a keeper, but he's garbage. Can we make him a striker? That would be ideal. Please, please, please. Ah! Oh. Then I'm just going to promote him, and we're just going to play him on the right wing. Promote this goalkeeper just because we have no goalkeepers. Yeah, that's ideal. That's enough players now. We don't need to really take players 
players just for the sake of it. We can be really picky now as to who we have because these guys' dynamic player potentials are going to go up. But if we take any other players, they're just going to sit on the reserves, not get any game time and just be a nuisance. So we're just going to wait until we get God level players. I actually don't even know if it's possible to get Chinese players good enough to win the World Cup or the Champions League. So I guess we're going to find out. Why do I torture myself like this over and over? I actually don't even know at this point. I don't want to put this lightly. We are rock bottom of League 2. Not even close to Walsall in 23rd. Okay, we're terrible this year. We're going to be better next year though. China are bouncing back. Maybe. Hopefully. I'm really, really scraping the bottom of the barrel here for justifying any of these guys. Because they're all terrible. They're all really, really bad. This is really hard. Oh my god, this guy. Oh my god. 3.2 million value. 81 to 94. Just when I said everyone sucks. Yeah, sign him. This guy looked great. 1.1 million value. What's going on? Just because I said everyone was terrible. Now all the gods are coming. Here we go. 67 rated. Promote to the senior team straight away. Queely Fangs. Promote. Shi Young Go. Promote. We now have the Avengers on our team. This is great. He's the best player on the team immediately. How do you not find this guy sooner? I'm trying to just keep everything organized. Everything feels like it's flying all over the place. It's not. I'm just losing my head. Potential to be special. Oh my God. Queely Zo. Showing great potential for Queely Fang. Showing great potential for Chi Young Go. Okay, that's really good. Quan Yang is exciting prospect. Bin Wang Go, exciting prospect. Okay, it's happening now. It looks like when they cross 60 overall, they then get their status. Showing great potential is between 80 to 85 potential in overall rating. Exciting prospect is 86 to 88, but potential to be special is 89 plus and is exceedingly rare. And we found him in the first year. That's insane. Now the problem is we have four attackers, but our formation only allows three of them. We have Zhou, we have Gao, we have Gao, and we have Yan. One of them's going to have to play center mid and I do not know who. Gao looks like he's going to be our striker. Or we just switch back to a 4-4-2. I actually don't like the 4-3-3-4. I think it does terribly in game, but I will do it just to develop my players. So we play Gao there. Oh, Oh, I think that's okay. Now that's the problem because Chen is now minus and we don't know what his status could be. He could be potential to be special as well. I'm going to go back. This is really, really difficult. If someone's going to drop, it's going to have to be this Gao guy. But it's so tough to leave him out. Oh, why can't everybody play? I don't really want to waste my time either developing players that will unfortunately never see the light of day in my team. So at the moment, I'm going to make the tough decision and get rid of anyone that's under 50 overall just because they're just never going to ever play. Ultimately, they're all going to have a lot of potential potential okay so if we have to sacrifice one player for the cause I, I think we just have to bite the bullet and go with it we do have quite a weak midfield at the moment though a defense I'm not particularly worried about goalkeeper and center mids we need to sort that out 52 overall and he's 15 years old doesn't help I just completely dodged the transfer window I mean it doesn't affect us anyway this guy looks really good as well 79 to 94 but he's another attacker this guy looks decent he's 16 now so we can promote him that's good 62 overall Gong Sun Jin please can I make you a center mid it might be worth it he is 15 so we could just leave him here that would knock out a lot of the time already so i might just do it 69 overall already we have another squad submission but we are gonna have a youth academy player in here surely Ki Li Zhou is actually better than another right winger that is chinese so he's going into the team and he's gonna start because i want him to so we have ghana to play twice oh one all draw we draw with bradford and we beat ghana oh that's a great result what He's like one of our best players. Oh my God. Are you serious? He's not playing. Are you serious? Is he not playing? Why isn't he playing? He's like our best player. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. We can save this. We also have our scouts back. I uh, wonder where we're going to send them. China. But this time we're going to be a little bit more specific. Let's go for a playmaker. Let's go technically gifted. Let's go for a goalkeeper. We need a beast of a goalkeeper. Our goalkeeper is 57 overall. We could definitely get one that's better straight away from a youth academy report if we get lucky. So we're coming to the end now of year one. Oh, crap. Crap, yeah, I better uh, make sure this guy's playing. Three million already. Reject. 11 games. Why? He's like our best player. Please, just play him. No. This is stressful now. He's one of our best players, and I do not want to lose him. Oh my god, we just conceded our 100th goal in the last game as well. That's an achievement. I'll take it. And we're about to take this team the whole way to Champions League and World Cup glory. It's about to happen, okay? Right in front of your eyes. I mean, it's not about to happen for me. It's going to take me hours of pain. All right, let's sim through the final game of the season against Doncaster pretty appropriate can we win two all draw not the worst this is actually so difficult not a single player oh my god oh why is everyone sad someone's got to be in the reserves why does everyone hate me what's going on fine do you know what i need to start a loan list everybody line up anyone that's below 60 overall i'm not taking it reject I'm waiting for the loan deals to roll in but i don't really think it's happening 
Oh, it's happening. Season one is already over and we have a 70 rated player already in the books. Five star skills, 18 years old. Also, we have the fan guy who's not left and he's not allowed to leave. And we have a youth academy of players ready to go. This guy just turned 16. Perfect. Promotes to the senior team. Do not take it out of context. I will literally tear you limb from limb. This guy can also get promoted and probably start in nets, actually. Do you know what? Block. I can't block it. Oh my God. Being with gout block this guy is going to be a beast and that's why i have it so i can't get sacked because fifa is dumb i'm literally about to win these guys every trophy on planet earth itself and they won't care they'll just be like nah but it cost us an extra 500k so um you're getting binned he looks great wow 1.7 million value 71 to 94 we definitely take that okay these guys actually both start straight away I'm just gonna promote this guy squad submission for the national team once again have we got any of our youth players in here we have of course joe and that's it really yeah we can get Fang in 68 68. Who are you playing? Qatar again. Why are we always playing Qatar? Oh, because Asia. Oh, three nil. None of our youth academy players scored, but three nil. Two on the bounce. Oh, and Joe didn't score either. We have Brazil. Oh my god. Okay, so let's beat New Zealand. Oh, okay, we drew against New Zealand. China versus Brazil. Oh, Lord have mercy. If it's less than five, I'll be surprised. Okay, 3-1. The problem is, it's hard to find diamonds in the rough when there might not even be diamonds in the rough. Isn't that deep? Anyway, the point still stands. It's actually hard to find really, really good players when there just might not be any good players. So we're going to keep searching, of course. Oh, this guy looks good. Lee Lin. We're going to find... Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. We have too many good goalkeepers. 65. Oh, and 60. What am I going to do? Oh, what am I going to do? They're all really good. Oh, this is a big, big problem. We found Neuer, Ter Stegen, and Oliver Kahn in one go. It's a good problem to have. Might start releasing some of the dead wood. There's no point selling them because I don't need the money. 50 overall release this Lou guy yeah he's, he's grand but i don't know if he should be starting watch this this is a two win germany oh netherlands oh my god two one losses though could be worse they all look amazing oh my god what am i supposed to do i can't keep them all you gotta promote them you just do we have four goalkeepers now oh my god let's have a look at the stats really quickly who's our top scorer for the season it's guy with nine goals not incredible but solid i suppose then joe follows up 20 games and three goals is not good for yan so i looked for a center mid in china and i got absolutely none so i'm gonna go back and do it again just give me a god of football thanks either your potential has to be super high or your overall has to be like 70 plus i'm just looking for the next zidane is that too much to ask this is the grind that you don't see this is when i skip 20 minutes between every edit because there's nothing going on i'm just trying to sign players out on loan and pray that i get some absolute gems in the youth academy other than that i'm just waiting for overall to go up this is the hard part oh 81 to 94 plays up the middle let's sign him and pray he's a center mid yeah center mid i i, I don't know i don't know which one he is i hope so yeah i think he is yeah this one balance yeah he's a center mid cdm slash center mid that that's good. That's really, really good. Can we just make him a straight up centre mid? 10 weeks. We have a centre mid. Crisis averted. He is 15, but hopefully he gets older quicker. Sounds so weird. It does. It sounds really odd. Okay, so our goalkeeper that got promoted to the senior team has potential to be special. So everyone in our starting 11 is now about 60 overall, including the bench. 60 overall is now the new cutoff. If you're not 60 overall, then you're not getting a look in. This goalkeeper is now ready to get promoted. Ah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, so if this guy nets his potential to be special, straight up amazing, right? We also have Tan, who's higher rated than Lin, but I don't think he has as much potential. So we have Gao now in the national team as well as Joe. All right, we got big games. We got Belgium and Argentina. And I'll be honest, I'm just going to sim straight through them. Belgium, we lose. Argentina, come on, the world champions. We can beat them. A draw. Three all draw against the world champions. Granted, it's a friendly. They're probably playing a B team. Oh, one of our keepers is leaving. Oh my God. Why is everyone so sad? Why does everyone hate me? Please stop hating me. Why is everyone so sad? Oh, because everyone's losing. Because we're losing. It's because we're losing, isn't it? Yeah, we're way bottom. Let's have a look at the youth academy. Oh, this guy. I completely forgot about this guy. He's up to a 64 overall. Promote to the senior team. We have a good center mid and he has a brilliant potential as well we can finally get rid of lou who should have never been in the team at all this goalkeeper is now old enough 90 to 94 okay yeah promote to the senior team and here's what we're gonna do wang his name is wang remember that tan's not playing lin's not playing wang is playing he has more potential than both of them i think well they both have potential to be special so i don't think it really matters okay i think what i'm gonna do is just sim it out and see what keeper we end up with we have two potential to be special goalkeepers and this guy as well who's also basically potential to be special he's just submitted a transfer request we can't see it you need to be at least 60 overall now or you're getting cut she is potential to be special there we go we have a center mid that 
is potential to be special. That's really, really good. We have a good team. I just don't want to lose anyone. Yes, this guy looks really, really good. But just because we get a player like him doesn't necessarily mean he'll be good. And there we go. He could have been 79 overall, but he's not. He's 59 overall. I have no idea how I'm going to keep these goalkeepers, by the way. I'm just going to play it by ear. Whichever ones want to leave can just go. I'm sure they won't all leave because someone's going to have to obviously play the games and they're going to stay happy, hopefully. Also, season two, we finished 24th and got knocked out of every cup competition at the first available opportunity. Literally as bad as possible for two seasons in a row. But this year, this year could be the year. We're going to go from 24th to pretty high up in the table because now our ratings are getting up there. Well, I just accept it and then just shortlist him and see how good he gets. We do have the other two guys who are better. So I am going to accept it. I think our front three are kind of just ahead of our entire squad. They're in the mid 60s and our front three is like 70 odd. Blackburn. Yes, we won in the cup. Okay, that's a good progress. That's a good progress. That makes literally no sense. Can we win? Oh, we're doing really well. Fang is now the best defender in China. Zhou is now the best attacker and is actually the best player in China. And we're sixth in the league. This is good. I'm telling you, this could be a year we get promoted. Ultimately though, we don't really care as much about club football as we do about international football. But you know, it's fun to look at as well, of course. We're going to try and win as many trophies as physically possible. Manager of the month, China FC. Let's go. Oh my God. God, that's disgraceful. You could be 86 overall. 81 to 94 potential. Okay, so you're not 86 overall. 4.3 minutes sign. So don't even think twice. Don't even give yourself the chance to reject. That's madness. Okay, if this is not the best Youth Academy player you have ever seen in your life, 70 overall. Cam slash center mid. Okay, so we're going to make him a center mid. 81 weeks. Oh, why? Ain't that something? That's nuts. Yeah, we have no defense in this midfield now at all. Oh, Joe is now a gold card, by the way, already. Hardly even in season three. He's 16 years old, 67 overall. Yeah, he's nuts. So this is what the teams look like. Oh okay, yeah, so they are putting out kind of a second team. It looks like, well, Militao, Kante. No match for the power of China. Oh, okay, we got smoked. Why does he still want the transfer? Yeah, we're nine games in, but we are second, by the way. Walsall are top and we have them next. Oh! <gasps> We beat Warsaw. Okay, we actually have a chance. Whoa, this guy looks good. Wu Han Han. 3,200,000 transfer value. 70 to 94. We'll take him. I think maybe this could actually be possible. I think we can actually win the World Cup with China. Zhang, yeah, he's got a red card, but he is our example of a diamond in the rough. That's exactly what we're looking for. I am going to make him a center mid, though. 168 weeks. Oh, well, that's on that form. So we'll just put it on anyway. We beat Denmark and we draw against Wales. We actually are getting slightly better. It feels like it anyway. Our Chinese players are slowly assimilating in. Fang still wants to leave? He still wants to leave? No. Problem is, he might just not sign a new contract. We're second in League 2. We're doing really, really well. We could go up this year. We could go from 24th to 1st in a year in League 2. Ah, we lost in the FA Cup. So, we are definitely better. China is definitely a better footballing nation already, but we're still just below major tournament qualification. Of course, I think it will automatically qualify us either way, because qualification isn't a thing in FIFA, which is really dumb. Come on, beat rather and Papa John's. Ah, oh, I think we're out of the Papa John's. I'm going to stop doing these Youth Academy reports very, very, very soon because we have the team now. We have the team. We have the quality. We have the potential. We just need time. And if I'm wrong, if we don't have the team of potential, then we will be found out later on when our competition is a full team of 85 to 90 rated players and we have people whose max potential is 80 overall and just won't get better. And we can't sign Youth Academy players because they're going to take four or five years to get good anyway. We are now top of League 2. It's really, really tight though at the top of the table. Anyway, we're from fifth up to first five points separating real real close so i've got to be very very careful three one all draws a little bit disappointing and cheltenham take advantage and they're now top if we want to win the league and i do then we need to be really really on it march is a massive month and we started off with a loss okay can we beat doncaster oh my god oh my god four losses on the bounce that's oh, so close gao is so close do you know what we'll just do it whatever we're down to a fourth oh my god this is terrible we're so far off and we got cheltenham to play okay we can do this. Oh my god. So we beat Portugal, but we lose to like every League 2 team ever. And now we're just in the bin. Jin, exciting prospect. Wuhan Han, exciting prospect. Potential to be special. Chi, Wang, potential to be special. Zan, exciting prospect. Gao, potential to be special. He's up. And then Joe, potential to be special. So we have like five potential to be special players. This is ridiculous. But I'm losing like every game is really sad. Come on. Five wins on a row. There's one. Come on. Two. Give it to me. Give it to me. This is really bad. It's like gambling. Give it to me. Oh, one more. 
Oh! Oh, okay. Well, we're going up automatically, but I don't think we're going to win the title. Dressing room on rest. You're not going to fire me. Jin is gone. Oh. No, go. Oh, okay. So, Jin and go. We're not going to be able to renew Fang. That's a problem. I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. Jin loan offer. Perfect. Is that the right Jin? It's the wrong Jin. Oh, my God. You submitted a transfer request like three years ago. What? I put myself as unsackable. That's bull. No. Okay, hold on. I literally had perfect manager reputation and they still fired me. Oh my God. I'm just terrible at my job. Where am I now? How far back did I go? To March. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Maybe we could actually win some games though. Okay, that's good. Why are you all so sad? Maybe because I'm making you all crucial and then just not letting you play. That'll probably do it. Can we beat Cheltenham? Draw. Okay. Oh my God. Our striker is 97 pace. When? Why do you want to still leave? Okay, here we go. April. We went flawless once. Can we go flawless again? Still haven't lost. What a month. Okay, that's brilliant. The last two months have been great. I've only lost one game in the league. He does want to leave. I'm just going to accept it then. I don't know where we are in the table, but we're about to find out. Can we get a win over Carlisle? 2 0 win. Xi and Zhang with the goals. Can the Chinese national team get out of League Two? Yes, they can. Last to first. Just beating out Cheltenham. China FC go up to League One next season. Let's see if we can go even further. The League Two season is done. We're heading to League One. Can we get promoted straight away? A pretty poor showing in the Cups, but a great season in the league. And the World Cup, remember is in 2026. We have three gold players, Fang, Zhou, and Gao, a bunch of silver players, not many bronzes anymore. It's a really strong team and I'm really proud of it, to be honest. About 11 million worth of players all wanting to leave and they're all fairly decently rated as well. Quite a shame. I wonder if there's anything we can do about it. I'm not really concerned about depth because we have it. That's nice, I suppose. 9.2 million from Brasta. I might just take that. If we don't accept it, then he'll just wait till his contract runs out. So we just accept it. And there goes Fang. And to get an idea of where we're expecting Expected to finish. Let's have a look at what the board says. Domestic success. Win the league title. Okay, maybe we actually can. And then reach the round of 16 in the FA Cup. Is that the quality of squad that we have? Now the lowest rated player on our team is our right back when once he was one of the highest rated players. However, we need him to step up big time this season. At the club sense, so not really showing any potential. Oh, two all draw. Not bad. Okay, so Wang transfer offer. We're going to block because we're keeping him. Kwon Yang is about to go up to a gold player as well. So we're about to have our full attacking line as gold in League One. Oh, we lost some penalties. Okay, so we're already out of the the EFL Cup. Nil nil draw. Okay. We're not doing great at the moment, but give it a bit of time and hopefully we can develop a bit of a run. And a loss against Burton. Okay, we are not doing well at all. We have Wang who's now maybe starting. We have Quilly Fang who we lost, unfortunately. I might try and buy him back because he is our player. We have Kang as well. We have Zhang. We have Anhan. We have Chi. We have Zhou. We have Gao and we have Yan. Isn't that amazing to see? Our three best attackers are all Youth Academy players. And we also have Gao coming up as well. We have John Sung Jin who is ours. Yeah, okay. So we're really making a difference at the moment. We can submit that. That's perfectly fine. After the first month of games, we are currently in the relegation zone, but it's still early doors. We have a lot of games to go and I think we could put a little run together. Draw against Austria is not bad. Draw against Wickham is though. And can we get a result against Mexico? Going to be a tough game, but we'll see what we can do. Two all is not bad at all. Gao gets a goal and Yan gets a goal. Oh my God. Everyone's on international duty. Oh my God. We're going to get spanked. Oh, I didn't even consider that as a problem, but it obviously is. And we're still in the relegation zone. Okay, this is dangerous. And France batter us, but we're winning in the league. Oh, it's happening. Come on. Oh, okay. That's really good. We did get manager of the month in the league, which is brilliant. And here you go. This guy's 65 overall, 88 to 94 potential. We are going to sign him up and then send him straight out on loan. This is him here. Potential to be special, Dong Ji. We're going to put him straight onto the loan list. Hopefully get him out for about two years. Maybe he'll go up 10, 12 overall, something like that would be really really nice and yan is injured oh my god and chen is injured too oh dear we are 10th oh that's not bad oh no but we have like no goalkeepers we can't do this we're doing solidly in league one i think we need some more players to be honest i think it's time to promote huang he's 18 years old and he might ask out soon and then also we can promote du and we can finally make zhang a center mid after all of this time and he doesn't even go up and overall but finally she is very unhappy and i do not want to see that 4-1 win against mk dom's Gao with a hat-trick and Chi with a goal of his own. I'm not completely enthralled by these scouting reports, to be honest. They've been pretty poor the last couple of weeks. This guy's 28 overall, possibly. Take out Gao and put in Yan, because he's not injured anymore. Chi isn't sad anymore, so that's good. We can keep him. Our captain Kang is at the club since, so he's not really showing any major potential, but I don't really think it's that much of a problem. I think if we keep playing him, his potential will just simply go up. I hope that's what's going to happen anyway. So far this season, our top scorer is Gao, 40 appearances and 19 goals. Liu is second. Joe with 40 games gets 
it's nine and nine. Not amazing, to be honest. Lou being second is very interesting, considering he's not actually supposed to be starting. Can we try and buy Fang? That's a reasonable offer. Okay, fine. We'll buy him back. Give us your terms and we can take it. No problem. He is our player, so I'm fine with buying him back. He left because he was sad for some reason, but he seems pretty happy to come back. What about this Tan guy? Should we buy him back? He is a Youth Academy product of ours, so beautiful. He's basically a part-time player on that wage. Now that we have all our players back, can we put it together a little run in the league? That would be ideal. And don't forget about the World Cup as well coming up. So here's the deal with what happens in Youth Academies. Oftentimes, you have some of the best players in the entire league. Like, Gao and Joe are by far the best players in League One. There's probably not even another gold player other than these three guys up front and Kang in defense. However, the rest of the team does need to catch up a Wang and Nets as well as gold. We just don't have the support around these guys to get consistent results. That's what happens on FIFA and these things take time. We could actually technically take Portsmouth's promotion spot and we do have them last game of the season. Okay, come on. Can we beat Wickham? Yes. Okay, that's good. Um, I, I don't know what happens. We could take over Ipswich and Derby. We'd have to do a bit of a miracle. Ipswich have Derby to play. Okay, so we're basically screwed. FIFA World Cup squad submission time. Let's submit our squad. That's our squad for the World Cup. I'll go over it again when the World Cup comes around. Simulate China versus Portsmouth and China win. And since the season is over, we don't quite get out of League One, but we do have a World Cup to play. Let's have a quick look at who we have to play against. The Netherlands, Croatia and Scotland. We could get out of this group. I think the Netherlands are going to go through, but we could do it against Croatia and Scotland. Maybe. Don't forget, we have some decent players. FIFA World Cup of China. This is our first attempt at the World Cup. It's China versus Croatia. Oh. We basically need to win these remaining two group games to get through, and one of them is against Netherlands. This Netherlands team is so strong. Can we get a result? We don't. And the final game of the group stage, we have Scotland to play. Oh my God, we got destroyed in the World Cup. Okay, 2026 is done. Now the countdown to 2030 begins four years ago. How good can we get in those four years? Fang at fullback. Here we go. He's back. And Tan as well. What we're going to do with Tan is send him straight back out on loan. Potential to be special. Both these guys are very, very happy. We have a lot of happy players at the top. And as we go down, people get a little bit less happy. But generally, everyone's pretty pleased, which is great. It was Brazil who ended up winning the 2026 World Cup. The Netherlands were knocked out by them. There you go. That's what our group looked like. Scotland got a result over Croatia and got through. We did absolutely nothing. At least we scored two goals. Were we the worst performers in the World Cup? No, Qatar were slightly worse. Very, very slightly worse. And at this point, we're done with the Youth Academy. I think we're finished. If we have a look at what the squad hub says, we're going to have a lot of players here. An awful lot of players. Okay, I think we're good. If all the players that we have out on loan just leave for some reason, we'll still be more than okay for depth. And I think we have the talent to win the World Cup in this team because that's ultimately what it comes down to. Could this team one day win the World Cup? And I'm telling you, I think it could. First league game of the season, we have Preston North End. I don't have my hat on and I do not care. Who's going to win Preston? Great. I am slightly concerned about our defense. Potential wise, I don't really know. We have two center backs. So if either of them get injured, we're kind of screwed. And also, I don't think either of them have a major amount of potential. However, I'm hoping they'll just play and gain potential. Can we win in the EFL Cup? I think we should. Crawley Town. We win on penalties, but we win. We get our first league win of the season against Plymouth Argyle. That is what we want to see. Ah, Wang is injured. That'll really inhibit his growth. 21 million from Marseille block. We also have the Papa John's trophy because we are. Are now one of the strongest teams in League One. There's no way anyone is 85 or 84 rated in League One. It's just not true. We could have a really good run in the Papa John's trophy here because I think we are going to win the league if international duty doesn't get in the way, which it very well could do. We beat America and Wickham. That's brilliant. Unbelievable. Despite all our players on international duty. Yeah, we're top of League One. Draw with Blackpool and we beat Birmingham for an undefeated month. This China team is starting to get decent though. We have more than a few gold players in our team. I think it might be majority gold players now, which is very good. Yeah, it is majority goal player. Hang development schedule. It looks like he's not going to get that much better. 77 overall. Maybe I should scout for a centre back. We have all the attacking talent that we could ever want to need. Our midfield is kind of set as well. Our goalkeepers, incredible. We literally just need defenders. Derby are in front of us, but we do have the same amount of points. Hopefully we can kind of run away with it with them and have a bit of a title fight with them. That would be fun. And we are looking for beast mode defenders. There's one. Oh my god. 82 to 94 potential. Oh my god. 180 million for 
and go. Zhou has 104 million. It's League One. We're in League One. This is nuts. Huang Zhou, 63 overall already. 86 to 94 off the bat. And we beat Everton. Oh my goodness. That's an FA Cup tie against Everton. We just beat Premier League opposition. And we have Brentford in the next round. 5 0 against Lincoln. Okay, we get battered. 3.6 million value. 74 to 94. Wow, 68 overall. Straight away. He is not far off the first team. These two could be our centre back pairing because the other two guys we have aren't really going to go up in overall that much at all. They need to be, what, 73 rated to get into this first team and take loose spot. I wonder if I could develop him into a left. He is 6'6". Six, six. I can't make him a left back. We are second, but we have a game in hand over Derby. So if we win, we go top of the league by a singular point and we still have Derby to play at some point this year. Right at the end, third last game. We have them in May. That could be a title decider. We're on a bit of an FA Cup run here. This is incredible. And already Go is 88 overall. Go is doing pretty damn well. 18 goals in the league. It's not bad at all. Chi from center mid is bossing it. Even though he's center mid slash CDM, he's doing really well going forward. We beat Portsmouth in the cup. I think that's Papa John's. We're in the Papa John's final. Darby actually lost to Cheltenham. So we have Cheltenham in the final. Bit of silverware would be absolutely lovely. Maybe we can win League One as well and do a bit of a double. Every single person that's starting is on international duty. Okay. This looks so weird. We're not going to have a team. Oh crap. We're going to have to forfeit. Hold on. I need to take players back from loan. This is so bad. No. Do you know what? I'm just going to take the hit. Yeah. 3 0 loss. We had to forfeit because we had no players. And we're going to play this. Papa John's final. Let's play the highlights. It's China FC versus Cheltenham Town. Quite excited. I haven't played with this team yet. And we have a good bit of quality in it, but still a long way to go. This is not a World Cup winning team quite yet, but it definitely could be. We're in Wembley Stadium. It's a packed out place. Filled to the rafters. Good play. Into Zhang. Can he set? That's a terrible ball from Zhang. What can Yan find? Back post. Yan! Oh, what a finish. China versus Cheltenham. It's China taking the lead. The man we spent like a year and a half making a center mid, playing a terrible ball to Jan. That was atrocious. We won. Papa John's trophy winners. And the Papa John's trophy is China FC's. Can we win League One? These games are essential. 1-0 win. Blackpool. 4-1 win. Portsmouth for a flawless month. 3-0 win and we are top of the league two points clear two games in hand and if we win this game then we're five points clear if we win this game we win the league right can we do it against derby Yes, we can, Zhang and Yan with the goals. And we win League One. Hopefully, Derby go up as well, of course. I want to play them again next year. If we play the highlights of this game, we should be able to see the trophy being lifted. We have Preston to play, who, of course, beat us at the start of this year. And I think we have quite the point to prove against them. Please! Yes! One all. Okay, it's game over. But we win the league title. They have, is that Ed and Dzeko? Our leader, our legend, centre-back lifts the trophy league one champions just like that i think we could go up again next year our team is incredibly strong we have the backup now we have the quality up top we could do it and maybe even put a little cup run never forget as well the world cup is three years away we have three more years of development before 2030 zulang lu is unsettled there he is we're gonna promote him straight away no questions asked and huang zhou 91 to 94 potential what we're gonna do with him is promote him as well and send him straight out on loan potential to be spent Special add to the loan list. Exciting prospect, Zulan Lu. We're going to add him to the loan list. So our top scorer this season was Gao. No surprises. 29 goals in all competitions. Followed up by Chi from center mid, Yan from the left, and Joe from the right. Chi has gone up 10 overall from going on loan. Du Yi Huang has gone up 8 overall from going on loan. Yeah, this loan is definitely worth it. Jin hasn't gone up at all. So the season summary looks like this. Fourth round of the FA Cup, second round of the League Cup, but winner of League One and winner of the Papa John's Trophy. Pretty good season all in all. And we have a couple of silvers, but the majority of our team are in fact gold. I'm so stupid. All these loan agreements. I just sim too far and now they're all gone. I'm a dumbass. We should win. Oh my god. Okay, we're out of the EFL Cup. The oldest player on our entire team is 23 years old, Suhan. Guy was up to a 90 overall. 270 million in market value. He's going to keep getting better. And this is one of the first times where our players have been absolutely stupid. As in, we have one of the best players in the world now. Can we win? Do the double over Australia? We do. Jan with the goal. Good thing is, in the Premier League international breaks are a thing. We lose to Crystal Palace. Huddersfield, a draw, and Luton, a win. Okay, all things told, not the worst month ever. We're sixth. I think we're going to end up in the playoffs this year. Genuinely, we could win the playoffs. Brentford to play, Norwich to play, Watford to play. At the moment, that's the team. It's just my team. Germany. We win! We beat Germany! Gao is just going to keep getting better. This guy is ridiculous. We're on an absolute tear at the moment. What a month! We draw against Reading, but we win every other game, including against Germany. And we're now third in the table. We might be able to do this. 
points. We're not far off halfway through the season either, which is a brilliant, brilliant sign. We are up there. Sweden we beat. Poland we beat. Brentford, top of the table. A loss. 4-3. What a game. 3-0. Oh my God. Gao, Gao and Joe. We absolutely destroyed them. We're second and we are on Brentford's tails. Palace is a big game and we win in the FA Cup. We have Manchester City. We'll do our best, okay? It's Manchester City. We do have an international break coming up, and I really hope we don't have any league games. Oh, we do. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, we have Derby as well. Can I afford to lose this game? Oh, my God, we're killing it. We have enough players for this game, no? Yeah, okay, here we go. We can. We have no goalkeeper, so we're going to get smashed. Oh, two all draw. So it was worth it in the end. A result against Norwich is essential to our title hopes. Who do we have left to play? Any big hitters? Not really. It's Brentford, Palace, and us. Two of us are going to go up. Come on. Result against Cardiff. Oh, not good. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, we're third. Oh my God, Brentford lost. Okay, if we win this game, we go top of the championship. If we win this game, we go top of the championship. Come on. <gasps> Please. Yes! Okay, okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. Go, go, and go. A go hat-trick, because go is the go. But we have been promoted because Brentford lost. We're in the Premier League next season. Back-to-back -back promotions for China is secured. But we want the title. We want silverware. And here we are. We're about to play for the championship title. China FC are about to go and win the championship. Here he is. It's Gao. Touch through the gap. Too fast. Too skillful. 1-0 already. Go with the finish. Joe threw on goal. Joe threw on goal. It's two. And Huddersfield are through on goal. Come on, Kang. Make up the ground. Come on, Kang. That is atrocious. And it's over. We win the championship. We win League One. And then we win the championship in back-to-back -back seasons. We're going to the Premier League. And we're doing it in style. Can we go through and put in a solid Premier League performance? I did not think this would happen. From the start of the season to the end, we've been immense. And our captain leader legend lifts the champion trophy. We're into the Premier League already. Player returns from loan. Look how many we have. Brilliant year. I did not think that was going to happen. And there it is. The Premier League ball. You know what that means. You know what the best part about being in the Premier League is? That we can actually keep our team for the whole season because international breaks are a thing. Currently, these are all the players that we have. <laughs> Wow, okay, we have a lot. She is still potential to be special, by the way, and is only 20 years old. Doing all the boring stuff. This stuff takes a long time, and as I said at the start, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes work that goes into this. Look at the Premier League theming. We have it. Isn't it lovely? Problem is, if any of our players get injured, we're kind of screwed. I don't really know what level we're at in the Premier League. It'd be interesting to find out. 3-2 loss. Okay, no shame in that. For some reason, the first, like, two rounds of the EFL Cup are basically a gauntlet. It's really hard. Can we beat England? 4-0 loss. Okay, they destroyed us. First couple of games down, and we are... 14th. We lose to Leicester. We still haven't won in the Premier League. We have Chelsea in the EFL Cup. Oh, we win on penalties. Oh my God. Sterling and Camavinga both missed. Maybe we can do a cup run. We beat Aston Villa. Okay, so that's our first win of the league season. But why is Joe playing? Oh, because we got rid of our left back. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, we need to recall him. We're currently 18th. We're in the relegation zone. This is really bad. Can we beat Brighton? We do. Okay, back-to-back -back wins. That will help us. Brentford knocked us out of the cup last year. They destroyed us 3-0. We should beat them this year. We are a better team. We do. Get with a late goal. We knocked them out of the cup. We're through to the next round of the EFL Cup. We're doing a great job here. First leg, can we win? <sighs> okay, that's a big deficit to overturn in the next leg. We beat Arsenal, 3-1 loss. We're out of the EFL Cup and we have a terrible month. One point in the league and we're still 15th. Chilon rejected. Everyone keeps getting their loans rejected. We're not doing incredibly in the Premier League, but we do have the 2030 World Cup next year. You're not playing? Is Wang not playing? Why is Lin playing? Wang is so much better. Oh my God. I hate my assistant manager. Our front three is world class. Absolutely, positively. The rest of our team just simply isn't. 3-1 win. Lovely. Gauchi and Jan. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of aiming for a top half finish. I don't think that's going to happen. Eight weeks, he's going to turn into a 96 rated player. Okay, so Gao is becoming God himself. We are 15th. We have crossed the 40 point threshold. We're definitely safe. Wang, 70 million from Barcelona. Just block. Oh, he moved. What? He did not request to move away. How is he not? No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. 2 1 win. Lovely. Okay, so we beat Spurs on the final day. Nottingham Forest for 70. Well, if I accept it and then just buy him back, let's just try that. It's going to take a couple of years to go through and get everyone up to speed and all that. But when we do, I think we'll be looking good. I hope so anyway. Problem solved. We bought him back because he's ours. He's a Youth Academy graduate. But we bought him back. I think it's only fair. China FC. We get the best of China in our club. Guy is about to get better, isn't he? Yeah, he's just about to get better. Don't care about 
about transfers, don't care about loans. Just going to keep all our players from there. Fang is the best defender and he's 82 overall. That's kind of not on. And it's deadline day. Let's just have a look at the signings. Why not? Raven versus Girona for like 120 mil. Garnacho to Real. Madweke to Sassuolo. Declan Rice to Chelsea. Realistic. Psych. Can we beat Scotland? No. Can we beat Belgium? No. We just don't have the quality in defense. With regards to depth, we actually have quite a lot of depth if we take all our loans players back. Anyone under 70 overall is kind of pointless. Bournemouth to play. Bournemouth to beat. Chi and Han with the goals. Finishing a Europa League spot. Epic Cup reached the final. Who do you think I am? We're ninth in the league. Okay, so we are mid-table. One all draw. We get unbeaten this month. That's very good. Our midfield is now a solid Premier League midfield. It's just a defense. We just got to give it time. Joe is going to get way, way better. Lou is going to get way, way better. Even Kang is going to get way, way better. Not particularly infatuated with the thought of playing three at the back. I just don't think it does very well in simulation. So we are going to need a left back. We can make one of Lou, Joe, and Kang as left back. Four weeks. Okay. And then he'll get more consistent games. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Can we beat Wolves in the cup? Yes. Okay. So we're still in the cup. That's good. We beat Norwich. Can we win in the cup? We draw. We're in the EFL Cup semi final again, by the way. And we win in the AFA Cup. We have a chance of getting to an EFL Cup final here. A win would take us through. Ooh! We won! We could get to Europe next year. Oh my god. And we have Chelsea. Okay. Manager of the Month Award. That's brilliant. Joe is up to a 79. That is what we want to see. Lou is still a 77, but he is playing. She is still potential to be special. He's 21 though. He's still really young. We've won every tournament so far that we've been in. League 1, League 2. I don't know why I went in that order. Championship. Papa John's Trophy. Now the EFL Cup. The next step up the ladder. Can we get another piece of silverware? And can we get into the Conference League for next year? That would be amazing. That was garbage. Nervy times, nervy times. Oh my God, that's horrific. And it's over. We're going to penalties in the EFL Cup final. Oh, what a pen. Bang, top corner. What a save. You know my rule. Always Penenka the second one. Declan Rice down the middle. I knew it. Rent free. Oh, that was not intentional. I wanted to go left. Oh. Kang, Kang, top corner. What a finish. The bench player comes on and wins us the EFL Cup. That's silverware. EFL Cup in the trophy cabinet. That was so nerve wracking. Why is he down the other end? Limbs winning on penalties through trials and tribulations. This one nation has stood up on its feet and delivered over a billion in population. China FC win the league. We're going to the conference league guaranteed next season. Come on, come on. We're doing it. 3-1 win for Spurs. Round of 16 in the FA Cup though is nothing to complain about. The only weak point is kind of the defense. Like there's still a 71 rated player getting in here. Almost all 80 plus. So is potential to be special. He's going to stay in the team forever. We should have checked the Ballon d'Or as well because Guy will be up there. We've fallen down the table quite a bit. We're not really going to get relegated or anything. So I'm not particularly concerned about that. Let's see if we can beat Man City. A very, very strong Man City team. 3-1 loss. Wow. We still haven't won a league game. It's been three months. Oh, finally. We've officially crossed the 40 point threshold and the Premier League is over. We survived, I imagine. Guess we won't know because it's a World Cup year, boys. It's been four years. Our team has gotten so much better. Unfortunately, we don't have Han, but we do have Lou. That's what our team looks like. That's the best team that we have. It's all of our players. It's a five-star team with a 97 attacking rating. 80 defensive rating, though. We have a very, very tough group. It's us, Austria, Italy, and Belgium. That's a very, very tough group. Four teams that could do well in this tournament. First game against Belgium. Ooh! 4-1! This is really positive. Okay, that's a team that could have caused a problem to us. And here's another team that could be very, very detrimental to our tournament. Italy, two really tough games to start off. And we end up with four points from a possible six. We're doing really, really well. Okay, I didn't expect this. I expected hopefully maybe three points and then get a result against Austria and hope for the best. And as luck would have it, we are top of the group. Oh my God, we are not already through. If Italy and Austria both win, we would go out on four points. However, we are likely to go through the most likely of any team in our group. Can we get a result against a decent Austria team? We do a 1-0 win. We go through seven points from a possible nine. Top of our group. A group of death, can I just say? Oh, it's Morocco. I simmed it and it's 4-1. Oh my God. Oh my, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. That was stressful. Hold on, we need to check. Yeah, so we topped our group. Italy came through with us. No surprises there. We beat Morocco and Germany beat France. Okay, so that means we have Germany in the next round. Oh my God. Norway and Morocco go through. Argentina crash out. Northern Ireland go out. Portugal and Canada go through. Scotland go out. England and Netherlands go through. Again, England, Scotland, always in the same group. England beat Brazil. Massive result for them, but they still have to play Spain in the next round. We've had a complete run of death. We've had no easy teams at all. 
score the whole way through. And we have Germany to play. Joe is injured. Oh, no. Three days. Okay. We're losing for this game, but we'll have them again if we have the semis. And here we go. I did not expect this to happen this early. It's a World Cup quarterfinal for the People's Republic of China against Germany of all teams. We have done incredibly well to get this far. Our Chinese players are incredible. Some of the best players in the world represent China. They have to go and beat Germany. The well-oiled machine that is Germany. China will win the World Cup, am I right? And Germany get the first chance. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what a finish. They're doing the Mexican wave. Oh my God. Oh God, here comes Makoko. They're still Mexican waving. Oh my God. Please, Joe. Please. Please, Joe. Please, Joe. Oh, what a save. It's now or it's four years down the line. Let's go, Chi. Set. And again. Beautiful ball. Please. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. Oh my God. Guy with the goal. Our superstar. Number eight, our super striker. What a finish. World class. They are the type of goals that win World Cups. And we just did it. Oh my God. And here comes Germany. 89th minute. We're still not an extra time. Oh my God. I need to settle down. Okay. Concentrate. Mukoko's through. Mukoko's through. Oh, oh, I didn't have a chance there. Oh. That's heartbreaking. Not even the Jeremy, it's just Makoko. All right, we're going to 2034. By 2034, we are going to win the World Cup. That's going to be our year. Guarantee it. And who wins it? Portugal win the World Cup 3-2 in the World Cup final. We just didn't have enough to get over the line. This year could be the year. We're in European competition. We could really kick on and make a big splash in the Premier League. 2-0 win. There we go. I've been offered the Ghanaian international job. Young boys, Basha Shekir and Malmo. Our front line can't really get much better. Beat United on penalties. That's a great result. Ninth after nine games. I'm getting kind of old now. I'm, I'm kind of worried. It's basically the 2034 World Cup or bust because if we don't win that World Cup, then our players might actually start regressing. And we beat Man City. Okay, there we go. There's our first result against Man City. Everyone has broken 80 overall. We're through our Conference League group. We could really get into the Champions League. Gao is going up in another 12 weeks. Oh my god, the man's going to be 98 overall. After two sh kind of shaky seasons in the Premier League, we're doing well now. We made it to the EFL Cup semi-final again, by the way. Yes, 4-1 over Coventry. That's an easy enough tie. Draw against Arsenal means we do not go through to the EFL Cup final. Real Madrid in for Joe. 94.9 million block. 89 million for Wank block. I think our team has gotten so much better. Just because our defense has got better. 1-0 win, Chen with the goal, and we are into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Everton in the cup, yes, we win. Beat West Ham, and we beat Mexico, and we beat New Zealand, and we're fourth. No! Oh! We're into the Conference League final. We have Benfica to play. Where are we set in the league? We came third. Okay, so we are in the Champions League next year. We have the Conference League final. It's China, the entirety of China, and nothing but China against SL Benfica, playing with what looked like a toy football. No, no, what a block. Jan, do it for your country. Yes! Jan with the goal! And it opens up for Gao down the middle, just like that. I did not expect it to be that simple. I mean, when Gao's throw on goal, you know the rest. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And China are about to win the Conference League. Conference League champions. We're going to the Europa League next season. Psych! We're going to the Champions League. A very successful season. We're now one of the best teams in England. Yes, China FC is in England. This is our 10th year of simulation. Manchester City, we lose 5-1. Everton in the Cup, we win. We're two from two in the Champions League. We're looking good to get out of our group. I'll be honest, I might just release anyone who's not explicitly a gold card because I don't need them. Oh, we lose to Man United in the cup on penalties. Not quite top. Spurs and Chelsea are both lossless though. Wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, it's Spurs after all. Chi is up to a 90 overall, by the way. Our centre mid. Joe is up to an 87. Fang up to an 86. Wow. And he's only 23. And yeah, he's going to get better. Champions League animation for the very first time. I have to sit through it in pure boredom. It's over. We're completely through. We haven't lost yet, which is great. I completely forgot about the Ballon d'Or. Player of the Year announced. Oh, it's Mbappe. Okay. Win the league title, win the FA Cup, win the Champions League. So I have to do the treble or else I'm going to get fired. So dumb. This is an incredibly strong Premier League table. And we beat Cardiff. I do want to win the FA Cup. I basically want to win every single trophy I possibly can. We have Juventus in the next round of the Champions League. Can we beat Juventus? We don't. Oh, God. Ha! Oh, we don't. And we're out of the FA Cup. Yes! In extra time. In extra time. Joe with an early goal. And we get to extra time. Bove scores, but Chi and Gao 
with the winner. Oh my God, we have Real Madrid in the Champions League. Are you joking me? Quarterfinal against Real Madrid. Get excited, guys, because we are going to win. Oh, we won. Yes, we go through. Go with the goal. First leg against Gladbach. Come on. Oh, Gladbach are in the final. But we still have the Premier League to play. Do not forget about that. What's the situation? Can we win the title? No, Manchester United have won the title. Bit of a weird season. Second in the Premier League. Semi-finals of the Champions League. And we are so much better than we were two years ago. And we made the quarterfinals and got knocked out by a very strong Germany team in extra time. We need revenge and we'll get it. This team is just going to keep getting better. Yeah, Guy is not going to get any better. 245 weeks is like, what, five years? So it was only 22. He's going to get better again in six weeks. This guy just keeps getting better. Scotland forever. Oh my God, they beat us. Basel, we win. Lose. This team is now very strong. Everyone's above 85 rated, apart from our left back. We're doing okay. A win against Dortmund would be nice. Basel are apparently gods of Europe. We're top of the Premier League. We've only lost one game and it was that stupid Bournemouth game. Did we get through? Yes, we did. We got through in second place. Basel top of the group, which is nuts. We're not going to be top of the Premier League. Not with three losses. Definitely not. Yeah, we're fourth. <laughs> Manchester City have been undefeated all year and we have Bayern Munich in the round of 16. That's a very tough tie. And we're also in the semi-finals of the EFL Cup. We have Brighton to play. We beat them in the league. 2-3 win. And we're still in the FA Cup. That's good. We beat Barnsley. A 3-for-3 three three this month. 4-for-4. Four 5-for-5. Four. Five five. Come on. 6-for-6. Six six. Come on. 7-for-7. Seven seven. Come on. 7-for-7. Seven seven. Come on. 8-for-8. Eight eight. Come on. Come on. Yes! A flawless month. Manager of the month. Oh, okay, we beat Bayern though. Come on. EFL Cup final, right? Oh my god, we lost. Bayern. We lose 1-0. I think we're through. Leipzig in the next round of the cup. And we're also in the FA Cup semi-final again. Joe is up to a 92 overall. Same rating as Chi. Two all draw. We got this. Come on. Jan and Go with the goals. And we have AC Milan. Can we win the FA Cup semi-final? Yes, we do. And we draw against AC Milan in the first leg of the Champions League. So we have Chelsea in the FA Cup final. Yes, on penalties. On penalties, we're in the Champions League final. We're in the Champions League final. We're in the Champions League final. And it's PSG. We beat Man City. They do not go unbeaten. They've lost two games all year. This will be another piece of silverware. So of course. We're going to play the highlights. And here we are. The sky is a beautiful gray. China versus Chelsea. Go through the middle. Can he play him? Great ball to Jan. Jan gets it down. Jan! 1-0. Oh my God, it's our penalty. Oh my God, what a save. Go through the middle. Go through the middle. 2-0. Just like that. 3-0. China win the FA Cup. It's a laggy mess. I apologize and I also don't. China win the FA Cup. Seven trophies already for China. I say already. It's been like 11 years. So far, we have been flawless this month. We're in the Champions League final. Not the tournament we're aiming to win. We're aiming to win the World Cup with China. But right now, it's China versus PSG in the Champions League final. It's a jittery mess as well. So we're just going to skip. Great ball to go. Oh, what a goal. Beautiful ball to Joe. Come on, Joe. Do it for your country, Joe. Yes. PSG zero. China itself two. It's Jan. It's Jan. It's Jan. Saved. Rebound. Three nil. And it's all over. We haven't won the biggest trophy yet. Two of the biggest trophies, Premier League and the World Cup. The main prize in football. The one trophy that everyone wants to win. Legacies are defined by them. And we're going to win one next year. Get excited. It's about to happen. Lifted by our captain. Champions League victors, but it's not done yet. There's a hole in my heart still, and it needs to be filled by the World Cup. Look at that. Winner, runner-up, winner, second. We got the Community Shield. Come on, we'll beat Man City. Okay, we don't win the Community Shield. Yes, okay, we win the Super Cup at least. That's nine trophies, I think. So we're out of the EFL Cup pretty early as well, but we don't care. We've already won the EFL Cup. Three games in, seven points. We're basically through already. Everyone on international duty. Player of the Year announced. Go! Go wins Player of the Year. That's what happens. You reach a certain level and you start winning stuff. Ah, first loss of the season to Brentford. We're out of the FA Cup again. This is a big game. Juve are 1-0 up. Oh, yes, 1-0 win. Can we beat Scotland forever? Yes. We are top. We're seven points clear. We've lost two games all year. Chelsea are behind us. Have we won the Premier League? Yes, we have. We've won every trophy. Apart from the Community Shield. Good ball. Back to Chen. Good. Great football. Brilliant. 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 Premier League champions. But as I've said this entire video, the goal is to win the World Cup. It's 2034. Can we finally achieve what we started out to accomplish? Can we finally win the World Cup with China? Let's go. And here we go. Squad submission for the World Cup. Shame for all these guys that are missing out on World Cup medals. Hopefully, of course. This is it. The video ends after this. This is our only chance. After this, if we don't win the World Cup this year, we are not going to win the World Cup. Simple as that. At the next World Cup, they'll be 33. Old. This is our best chance at winning the World Cup. And this is what our group looks like. Belgium, Portugal, and the Czech Republic. Not an easy group by any means. We've never really had it easy in the World Cup. Funnily enough, Ireland actually made the World Cup. They're in a group with Brazil, Croatia, and Ghana. Group F has Germany, Netherlands, Canada, and Austria. Tough enough group. Our team is set. It is 
primed. Our lowest rated player is 84 rated. Our second lowest rated player is 87. And we have eight 90 plus rated players. And we're going to play Belgium first. And we're going to win 4-3. What a game. Three points in the group stage. We beat Portugal. Okay, six points from a possible six. We're looking good to go through the group stage. 4-1. Emphatic win. Nine points from a possible nine. We are through the group stage. Just like that. Oh my god, Ghana. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even know. The same thing happened as last time. The Rona 16 simulated itself. I had no idea it happened, but we beat Ghana 3-0. Ghana aren't that strong, so we kind of got lucky that we got a weak enough team in the Rona 16. I had no idea that was going to happen. Oh my god, my heart. 12 years, and it could have gone down the drain from a stupid simulation. Okay, I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. If we don't win this, I'm going to be devastated, because we have to beat some class opposition. Italy, Germany, Spain, France, even England are good. Argentina, Brazil, even teams like Croatia, Morocco, tough, you know? gritty teams. It's the United States. Here we go. We're going to simulate World Cup semi-final coming up and we are going to feature in it a 3-0 win. Dominant display. Poland to play. Oh my God, the God run. I don't know. I'd rather play Poland than Italy 100%. World Cup semi-final. Here we go. We're going to play this. Of course, we're going to play this. It's China versus Poland. Our team is insane. Genuinely, I'm so proud. I am so proud of how far we've come as a nation. If you said this would be a World Cup final in 2022, you'd be absolutely mad. However, 20 34 it's reality through the middle oh my god come on please get around oh set go come on go oh what a touch oh no play it what a ball oh i panicked oh, i panicked no i panicked ah, i panicked bang it yes yes oh my god the keeper totally should have saved that i can't believe that went in that's so lucky and we get a penalty <laughs> come on go yes go it's go with the goal. It's Joe. Joe, what a save to go. Buries it. 3-0. The players are so good. They're actually really fun to play with. Normally, auto-generated players can be a little bit difficult to move with and stuff like that. These guys are silky. Chen! Oh! And we get another penalty. I might not panenka it. Just kidding. Of course I'm gonna panenka it. 5-0. Nothing to complain about. This is legendary difficulty, by the way. And it is a 5-0 result. We've lost games on legendary difficulty. Germany beat us in 2030 on legendary difficulty. France versus Germany. Please give us Germany. Oh my god, it's Germany. Nothing matters anymore. Our club football doesn't matter. It's completely pointless. Look at the team that we have built up to this point. Look at the absolute filth that we have assembled. All products of my academy. My work. Wang, Kang, Fang, Zhou, Lu, Chen. Chi, Zhang, Gao, Yan, and Zhou. What a team. In 2030, we could have won it. But in the quarterfinals, we had Germany. They beat us in extra time. This time, on ultimate difficulty. We're going to play it. There are no words that can describe the magnitude of what's about to happen. I have never done this. Won the World Cup with an academy team. But we could do it with the weakest national team in the FIFA World Cup. China versus Germany in the World Cup final. The game of all games for the trophy of all trophies. Champions Leagues look minuscule compared to the World Cup. This is the last game of this video. We could either finish this video in tears or an absolute ecstasy. This incredible China team that I have developed over years of Youth Academy scouting. The World Cup final. The game of all games. The one thing that brings the world together. And China is a bigger part of it than it has ever been before. That's gone. That's gone. Garbage. Trash. Ass. Joe in behind. What can he do? Stop. Set. Great ball. Yan! What a save. Okay, good start. Let's go. And he's gone. Look at this opportunity. Down the left-hand side, it's Jan. Crossing in back post. Great ball. Joe, what a save. Oh my God, that was ridiculous. Oh God, they're through. Come on, Chen. Come on, Chen. He's got him. Chen's got him. Chen's got him. What a tackle from Chen. Can we hit him? Can we hit him? Yes, we can. It's go. It's go. Through on goal. The best player in the world. Can he get past his keeper? He's made two incredible saves. Can he make a third? It's go. It's 1-0 in the World Cup final. It's going to happen. It's about to happen. Go does it. Oh my God, China. Great ball. Go. What a save. Zhang. Oh no, off the bar. Header. Oh. Oh no, Hoffman. Oh no, Hoffman. Oh. Great finish. It's a great finish. Half time in the World Cup final. It's one all. I think we've been the better team. We have the quality. We have the talent. But do we have the bottle? Into go. Go. Saved. I said saved. Go. It went in. I don't know what to say. I'm absolutely all over the place. I'm all over the place. I can't. I can't process emotions. I can't process these emotions. I said saved. I don't know why I said saved. I thought he'd save it. Kind of dived out of the way a little bit. I'm panicking. I'm completely all over the place. But we're two one up. Okay, this is good. Give me that. Oh, barbecue chicken. Stop. Set. Go. Goal. It's three. Oh, it's happening. Can he play it back? Chi! Shoot! Oh, he puts it wide. And here comes Cow. Silky attacking midfielder. 
blazing a trail through the German defense. He's gonna go all the way. He's gonna go all the way. All saved. Winners. Oh. Back post. Joe. Oh, blocked. Can he get away? Cow. Oh, good save. Cheated, Chen. We can just hold the ball now. I can't wipe the smile off my face. World champions, China. We've done it. Oh, I'm burping. 12 years. 12 years of struggle. And the biggest trophy of all is China's. The weakest national team in the FIFA World Cup. World champions. Chinese talent upon Chinese talent. The best players in the world. China, world champions. Youth Academy only world champions completed. Enjoy the moment. Moment. Youth Academy graduates are world champions. Go and celebrate with your country. Go and celebrate with your fans. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video where I took football and reset it to 2004. Players, kits, clubs. It's incredible. It was a great video. Have a good time watching it. But before we end, there is one more trophy we haven't won. And here we are, the pinnacle of football. Community Shield winners. The pinnacle of sports itself. Community Shield winners. All right, cool, that's it. <laughs>